back. To the channel. Today we got Friends Season 5, Episode 15, The One with the Cop. I'm excited. Kidding. But I'm not involved with the police, at least at this point in my life. You know, I haven't been out here unaliving people, so I have nothing to worry about, but we're gonna see who has what to worry about in this episode. So, if this is your first time here, guys, or if this isn't your first time here, drop a like on the video. We'll go a long way and support your channel, and drop a comment below to let me know if you've ever had any, just off rip, if you've ever had a run-in with the cops, what happened? Because when I had my very first run-in with the cops, it was because I was late for class and I was speeding through a 25 or 35 mile per hour zone and I, I didn't see the cop in front of the bridge or maybe to the side of the bridge. He was just kind of waiting on people and he let me go with the warning. He was an older guy. He realized, oh, this kid's like 16, you know, uh, he, he just started driving recently. No need to you know, kill him, <laughs> you know what I mean? So. Uh, it wasn't that kind of day. I'm still alive. However, I never was sent to jail or anything. Let me know. Crazy stories with the cops. Let me know in the comments. Now, let's get into this video because I'm eager to find out what exactly this episode was about. And if anybody's seen Black Panther, that has nothing to do with cops. We'll talk about that on a different day. Hey, how about uh, Maroon? I was you thinking, so uh, <laughs> all right, I was thinking of a different word, but I don't know if that word applies. Indigo? I can't, now I can't actually remember. Indigo is like, is that a, that's a form of, uh, blue, right? Cat. Yes! <laughs> you are so smart. <laughs> I love you. That's a weird choice for a dream, Joey. Why did he just wake up like that, though? What just happened? What type of dream was this, Joey? Or maybe that was a, maybe that was an epiphany. Maybe that was just a self-realization. I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess our questions, or at least my questions will be answered after, after the opening credits. But man, I, I don't, I, I, I don't know if that was like, I don't know. I think Joey, I don't know if he had that kind of dream, like a like a wet dream. I, I think that was more so along the lines of like, oh, that's a good thing. I think that was just more so along the lines of him realizing, oh wait, I just had a dream about my friend and my best friend. Except I was replacing my best friend in this dream. That's maybe, maybe. We'll see. Oh, that's so cool. Why would a cop come in here, though? They don't serve donuts. <laughs> you know what, actually, can All right. I discover the badge again? I think I can come up with something better than that. That was, like, a little played out. I was going to let it slide if the other friends laughed, but they didn't. So I was like, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rachel's face in these shots have been killing me lately. Are you saying I smell bad? Oh, you smell like a meadow. Okay. A meadow? <laughs> What? Yeah. Oh, you know what? The last time that Joey went to a meadow, his mother was shot by a hunter. <laughs> Not the stupid Bambi. Why, why did I think of Bambi, though? When, when he was having that dream, I literally thought of Bambi. And now they had these... You know what? These writers have been on their jobs this episode. What? You say that to kids? <laughs> no, no, no. The come here to me is, you know, for the ladies. <laughs> Yeah, because that's going to work. Why did you look at him as if that's going to, like, for the ladies, like, <laughs> dude, you're third. <laughs> Carrying a couch three blocks, bro? It's only three blocks. You two are really going to enjoy that couch. Oh, yeah, we're, uh, yeah, we're not together. But <laughs> oh, okay. Something didn't quite add up there. <laughs> hey, yo, what's that shade, bro? What, what was the? Bro, what? What does that mean? Fine, we went out. Not only did we go out, 
Ross, the couch seems pretty times. good. You, you counted? It was that good that he was counting, bro. Who's counted? Who's counted the amount of times they've, they've done it with somebody, bro? And who is this? You apologize to the tree right now or I am calling for backup. <laughs> Vivi, do you, you don't even know how to be a cop. You don't even know how to fake being a cop. So why did why do you still carry around the bat? I can't talk. I can't talk. Not talking for the rest of the episode now. Silent reactions. Like some people in the comments be wanting, man. They'll be like, oh, you talk too much. I'm like, okay. And it's, it's, and it's, why, why doesn't he call one of his male friends, perhaps? No disrespect to uh, uh, Rachel. But I don't see why he didn't call Chandler or Joey. I kind of had a dream. But I don't want to talk about it. What if Martin Luther King had said that? <laughs> oh, 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 he's preaching. He's preaching. He's preaching. The world would have been so different, bro. It would have been so different. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be on YouTube. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. My parents probably, maybe not, they they may not have met. Are we ever gonna have the, you know, the closeness like, like you guys have? Well, you know what, Monica and I were friends before we started dating, so maybe, maybe that's it. Friends first? <laughs> bro said that like that was a different language. Fr friends? Uh, the, the title of the series? <laughs> Huh? Question mark? How you doing? Oh my god! Yo, yo, I can't laugh too hard because my my neighbor downstairs, he might wake up. It's the middle of the night. Oh my gosh, how you doing? The, the amazing length of that scene, it went on way too long. And it made it so hilarious. Is this Michael Rappaport? I'm sure Sipowitz is gonna be all right. I heard that kid from Silver Spoons is really good. <laughs> and where'd you find my badge? Is that a, is that a... Oh, that was his, oh! Wait! He, he, of course, he recognized his own, okay. He, he knew off rip. He knew off rip that it was not her uh, badge. What are you saying? I'm saying maybe you and I crank it up a notch. Is this how you... This is how Joey, this is what it looks like when Joey uh, talks to a woman. <laughs> I'll treat you real nice. Okay. <laughs> Not him rubbing the chair, like. Like, yeah, man, she's just gonna fall for you because you, the way you pulled that chair out, that was, that was hot. <laughs> That's so attractive, dude. Man, I wish I saw Phoebe first. <laughs> Phoebe, I don't think she, she would, not, I don't think, she wouldn't have gone for that either. Rach, that's you. That's the couch. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh what's, what's that? Oh, that's me. Did he draw biceps? You think a lot of yourself. <laughs> Bro, true biceps on a stick, man. Oh my gosh, this guy is so childish. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> It's one thing Ross has, it's the audacity. Turn! Chandler's about to die? <laughs> Here we go, pivot! 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 <laughs> pivot! Pivot! <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> Why does he say pivot like that? Pivot! <laughs> Pivot! That's my. That's a. That's. Oh my gosh. My head's gonna explode. Pivot! I can't believe that didn't work. I know, me neither. I mean, you had a sketch. Oh, you know what? What did you mean when you said pivot? <laughs> Chandler's never pivoted in his life. Bro just goes around walking in a straight line. <laughs> I'm looking for Phoebe Buffay. Oh, God. Sam, it's that cop. Well, if I'm going down, you guys are going down with me. Good luck, Chandler. 
Sorry, Chandler. The jokes are back. Since you flashed my badge in me, I kind of can't stop thinking about you. You're the prettiest fake undercover whore I've ever seen. Nice. nice. W pickup line. That's a W, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. <clears throat> no, I'm not. Don't worry, I'm not gonna just take you up for donuts. <laughs> he has a gun. <laughs> He's he's not gonna use it. He's not gonna use it. He's he's chill. Like, bro, I didn't know you were chill like that, but he's chill. It's uh, cut in half. Is that Laverne from Scrubs? Oh. I'll give you no store way, credit in the amount of four dollars. <laughs> I will take it. <laughs> and he accepts that deal because he not he's not getting anything better than that, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These are the funniest episodes I've seen in my entire life. I don't, I don't even know why. It's just, the writing is just, it's, it's top notch. It's top notch writing. Who did we see in this episode? Michael Rappaport and, uh, you know what's crazy? I don't remember her name. I don't. I think I remember her name. But I think that might just be a different actress I'm thinking of. Here we go. I typed in Laverne from and Scrubs was the first thing that popped up. Her name. What is her what is her name? Aloma Right. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize she was this old. Born in 1950. Okay. She up there now. But it was great to see her in this episode. You guys, well, not all you guys know, but some of you guys know how, how much I love the show Scrubs, one of my favorite series of all time, and will forever be one of my favorite series of all time. So seeing her at the end, it was just, it was a nice little, it was a nice moment, you know, because this uh, season five came out uh, before Scrubs was airing, before Scrubs, yeah, came onto television. So seeing her here, Pre Scrubs, I'm pretty sure for the people that were watching Friends, who then also watched Scrubs, were just as shocked when they saw Laverne as I was when I watched Scrubs as a kid and then watched Friends as an adult and saw this woman, Aloma Wright, portraying a different character in the show. It's it's a cool moment for for me personally and probably for all other. Lovers of Aloma Wright or fanboys and fangirls. Anyways, this was just <sighs> season five. Well, I mean, what can I say that I already haven't said a million times? This season is just it's amazing. And there's no there's no other season so far that's compared. So like the pivot line? Like he was Ross was just yelling pivot at this man, Chandler. <laughs> Chandler couldn't pivot anymore, bro. Like how many pivots do you want? I'm, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. Like, I'm trying to, and Chandler had the worst positioning with the couch. The one, the person in the middle of the couch always is gonna have a terrible, terrible time, bro. If it's like a long enough couch that requires three people, middle guy, middle girl, rip. <laughs> rip, just, just know that. Yeah, but this was full of, amazing moments this episode alone you know we got to see phoebe i kind of figured that line or not that line i kind of figured where her storyline was going to go in this episode but the whole joey thing man that that really caught me by surprise i did not ex i never in a million years expected joey to have a dream about his friends like that but in reality it was just him wanting closeness and the intimacy that he was seeing from his friends you know and i can i can understand that i can understand that for the people that probably probably like are single sometimes people like people that are single may be like oh here this couple goes here this couple goes you know like some people say things like that me on the other hand you know that's another story for another day that's that's definitely another story. We're gonna get into the next episode. Uh, 
yeah, what is this next episode called? I'll find out in the next in the next reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It'll go a long way in supporting the channel and drop a like on the video. If if you haven't already. So, see you guys in the next. I'm out.